Good morning from the edge. We are here at Pitcher Canyon Nat Natural and Cultural Preserve uh, near Flagstaff. Uh, we're on the east side of Flagstaff. So we're gonna go for a little bit of a hike and see what we can find. So uh, come along. There are multiple trails throughout the preserve here that uh, you can actually link together to make loops of different sizes and lengths. So um, right now we are walking on the Tim Moody Trail. There's a sort of a wetland riverbed here, stream bed. We are now coming up to what was what is left of the old railroad trestle. And there's not much at all left. But. There it is down there. We're actually starting to get into the actual canyon now. You may be able to start to hear the water running and we're actually going to go down over here So the water goes over a series of small waterfalls before it drops into the canyon ahead of us. You can see how deep that actual canyon is. There's a couple of dead ponderosa trees here. There's the base of them and they go all the way up. Gonna walk a little bit more of this canyon before we turn. 
and I'll show you what else is uh, here to offer. There is still a little bit of snow on the ground from last week's snowfall. Going back to find the actual trail. Pretty sure this is the trail. So the sun's not at the best angle right now, but as you can tell. There is still plenty of snow along the trail. So we are on the part of the trail where the Tim Moody Trail, or Tom Moody Trail, actually intersects with the Arizona Trail. For those of you who don't know what the Arizona Trail is, it is a roughly 800 mile trail that goes from uh, the Mexico border in the south to the Utah border in the north. It goes all the way across the state. Um, so yeah, this is part of it. We're gonna follow this until um, the bridge, and then we will. I'll take you up to the site of why this is called Pitcher Canyon, and then make our way back towards the trailhead. So we're doing a little bit of a shorter trail today. I'm not doing the whole Tim Moody trail. Um, I'm gonna do. The Tom Moody, sorry, keep on messing that up. The Tom Moody Trail to the Arizona Trail to the Waterbird and then back on the Don Weaver Trail to the car. So. so we are coming upon the bridge that I was talking about and it's not much of a bridge, you know, here in Arizona, water is scarce. So, we're going to go down and across the bridge. little bit of water. So this is the same water that was coming over the waterfall earlier in the hike. So we're coming upon the water bird petroglyph site. So that's the whole reason why this is called Pitcher Canyon. This is the largest of the petroglyph sites, but there are quite a few scattered throughout the canyon.
We are back down to the stream. I explored along the stream a little bit. Saw a really cool duck. Was not able to get close enough to get a good picture of it. But, so I'm heading back towards the Don Weaver Trail. The stream is still here on my left. The water bird, water bird petroglyph site is there on my right. So according to the sign here, they believe that the people who are responsible for these petroglyphs were here between 700 and 1300 AD. I'm now on the Don Weaver Trail. So this trail um, starts at the canyon base, the stream's right over there beyond those poles, and then it climbs out of the canyon and it will give us one last view of the canyon before we head back to the um, car. Here's another smaller petroglyph site. These ones are kind of faded, but see it right there. And then some right on the rock there. And like I said, there's smaller sites scattered throughout this canyon. So the Don Weaver Trail is a little bit more rugged and a little bit steeper, but totally worth it. We are now on the other side of the canyon from where we started. We started over there. You can actually see the waterfall. It's kind of behind that tree actually. Um, but we are at another petroglyph overlook site. They're down there on the rocks. It's a beautiful day today. I think I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to the waterfall on this side and then head back towards the car. A little bit closer to the waterfall on this side. Not by much. Well, we are on our way back to the trailhead and to the car. Um, overall, it was a great adventure. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It may not be the best quality. I'm just gonna kind of piece stuff together. But um, yeah, so if you're ever in the Flagstaff area, definitely check out Pitcher Canyon Natural and Cultural Preserve. It's located on the east side, just past the mall on Old Route 66. So until next time, bye.